channel. Okay, so if you're someone who is thinking to study interior design, think again. You know guys, interior design is such an incredible career. Some people think that interior design is one thing, but it's not really what they think it is. I'm gonna tell you four things that you need to know before you start studying interior design. Without further ado, let's begin. So the first thing that you need to know before you study interior design is interior design is not the same as interior decoration. I do know that these two terms are used interchangeably a lot of times, but it's wrong. Do not do it. It's so wrong. What you're going to be doing if you study interior design, it's going to be so different than what you're going to be doing if you study a program in interior decoration. As an interior designer, you're going to be skilled enough to change the structure of a house. You're going to be able to demolish walls, to change a kitchen location, to change a kitchen layout. You will learn about building materials, code compliance with your city, city bylaws, sizes for furniture, how to build furniture, built-ins. So many things that as an interior decorator, you will not have to learn. Now, an interior designer will also do the job of decorating home, which is what an interior decorator will also do. However, some interior designers will hire an interior decorator to finish off the decoration phase when you are renovating or when you're doing a new build or whatever. As an interior decorator, what you will be doing is you're gonna be adding furniture and artwork and decoration items and everything that's not the structure of the space into an existing space. You're not gonna be modifying the structure of space at all. So you're basically working with whatever you're working, either that's a living room or a bedroom. Typically, decorators will deal with living rooms, bedrooms, kitchen. Sometimes if you're doing like a renovation, it will need an interior designer because you have built-in and you have millwork. And if you're trying to change the layout, you kind of have to know how to build millwork and how to build a kitchen, which is what an interior designer would do. There's business for everybody. If you want to be an interior decorator, you can be a stylist, you can work in a staging company, or you're going to be working with realtors. If you're an interior designer, you will be doing more like renovation projects and new builds and commercial design if that's something that you're into. And you can also do the decoration part of the project if you really like it. Okay guys, so the second thing that you need to know is you're gonna be working with technology a lot, really is a lot. A lot of the time you're gonna be spent in front of a computer working with a program, doing 2D modeling or 3D modeling, designing furniture, designing a kitchen, and it's all gonna be done in front of a computer. Of course, we also do freehand drawings, which is the first step into the design process, but eventually those designs are gonna be transferred into a computer, and when you do your construction plans, your lighting plan, your floor plan, your everything plan, you're gonna be doing that all in a computer. I am telling you this because I am I'm not a techie person at all. It really took me a while to learn how to work with programs and softwares, 2D modeling, 3D modeling. It was a slow learning process and if you really want to study interior design, do not let the difficulty of learning the programs discourage you from going forward with your interior design career. Okay, so the third thing that you need to know is you need to know the difference between interior design and architecture. And if you are thinking about studying interior design, you're probably also being told by many people that you should instead go for architecture because you're gonna earn more, you're gonna have more opportunities, and you're gonna, I don't know, blah, 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 blah. They will just keep telling you stuff. But really guys, do not let anyone tell you what to do! Interior design and architecture are two careers that are very separate from each other but at the same time they're kind of very close to each other. An architect has to know how the home works. An architect is someone that's skilled enough to build a home. You're gonna be learning things such as structural materials, building materials, insulation, heating system, venting system, drainage. You're gonna be learning how to build a home that works and how that home is operating. An interior designer is all about the attention to detail. So to be an interior designer, you have to know the client because you want the client to have the best experience in his home. So from how his lifestyle is, what he does on a daily basis, what he likes to do in his home, if he hosts a lot of parties and he needs like big room to receive all his guests. 
so it's very personal and you're gonna be working very detailed into every single element of the home okay so the first thing that you need to know before you study interior design a lot of people ask this question and that is do i need to know how to draw mm, no but yes knowing how to draw it's something that you will learn it is a learnable skill that if you really practice and practice and practice and practice you will get there if you don't really want to take that effort you can also be an interior designer so really do not worry if you do not know how to draw first of all you can learn how to draw second of all if you don't want to learn how to draw that's fine but i would recommend that you learn how to draw okay guys so i know i said that i had four things for you to know before you become an interior designer but i actually have a fifth one so take this one as a bonus if you're an interior designer you're gonna have to develop good communication skills you're gonna be working with a lot of people you're gonna be working with your clients with the contractor with the plumbing guy with your electrician your painter your millwork guy or your cabinet maker you're gonna be working with a lot of companies manufacturers distributors overall i think that nowadays you will need good communication skills with every career but some careers do require more of that communication than others interior design it's a career that requires very good communication skills it is something to keep in mind you're going to be working with a lot of people and getting better every day with your communication skills it's such an asset that you're never gonna regret oh so that was it guys i really hope that you guys liked this video i really hope that it was useful and i'll see you soon